Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to compare which one is best in order to replace engine oil. Well, there are different specifications provided for engine oil change interval. For example, for this particular vehicle, it is recommended that engine oil is changed every 5,000 kilometers. Now, in order to identify when the 5,000 kilometer is reached, here we have the odometer. We can record the odometer when we change the oil and then adding 5,000 will tell us when is the next time for replacing engine oil. But now there is a problem with following that. The problem is if you are living in a very congested area where there is too much traffic and where there are too much traffic stops, the problem is engine will keep running when you are at a intersection, when you are on red light, the engine will keep on running, but the kilometer will not count. That will shift the interval somehow. Engine is running longer than it should, but the kilometer, because the, engine, the vehicle is not being driven, the kilometer will remain the same. So, how can we tackle this problem and how can we go about it? The best option is to take into consideration the amount of fuel that the engine is burning. By considering the amount of fuel the vehicle is burning, we can exactly pinpoint when is the right time to replace engine oil. For example, for this particular vehicle, here we have a fuel tank. In full fuel tank, this vehicle will be driven 600 kilometers. So by considering the amount of fuel filled and by dividing that to the kilometer, we can exactly pinpoint when is the right time to replace engine oil. This particular vehicle is consuming one liter for every 12 kilometers. So the fuel consumption for this particular vehicle is 12 km per liter. In full fuel tank, the vehicle is being driven 600 kilometers. So, for example, if I fill it like 8 times, 8 full fuel tank corresponds to 5,000 kilometers for this particular vehicle. So, we've said that it is taking 600 kilometers in full tank. When we divide 5,000 because that is the 5,000 is the interval provided by the vehicle manufacturer for replacing engine oil. So 5,000, when it is divided by 600, it will be somewhere around 8.3, which means 8 full fuel tank corresponds to 5,000 kilometer. So instead of considering the mileage for identifying the oil change interval, if you are living in a congested area, it is best to consider the amount of fuel that is being used. In order to calculate the fuel consumption and know exactly how much fuel is being consumed, you can take the amount of fuel that is being used for one fill up and you can see how much kilometer it has traveled. Or you can use the lower gauge, which is a trip meter, in order to calculate how much distance it has traveled for particular fuel volume. For example, in full tank, when I fill this up and I press this and make this zero, and then it will take 600 kilometers on the trip meter in order to consume the entire fuel. One fuel tank of fuel for this particular vehicle correspond to 600 kilometers on this trip meter. So by considering how much fuel we have consumed, we can roughly calculate the oil replacement interval better than taking the mileage into consideration. So by simply taking note of the amount of fuel that the vehicle is consuming, we can exactly pinpoint when is the right time to replace engine oil. So try this method and let me hear what you think about this method in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe. 